Find the electric field at any point P on the perpendicular bisector of a uniformly charged rod. Okay. The length of the rod is L. The charge on it is Q and the distance of the and, and the distance of P from the center of rod is A. Okay, great. Let's imagine a rod. Okay. So let's say this is our rod over here. Okay. So let's make a small rod here. Okay, so this is our a rod, correct? And what we are having given quantities, find the electric field at point P on the perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular bisector means it is splitting, it is perpendicular and splitting the rod from into two equal parts. Okay, so at any point P we are looking for. Okay, and this is at a distance of A. And rod is of length L, correct? So if it is equally splitting, okay, so this will be L by 2, L by 2. So this is L. Correct. This is L and uh, this will be L by 2 and this is L by 2. Okay. Great. Now let's imagine a small element, small element, small element means a small part of this rod. What is the length of the small part? Dx, which we will integrate to get the whole rod, right? Later on. And let's say this is the center O and from O, this is at a distance of X. Great. So what will be assuming that there is positive charge all over this rod then what will be the electric field due to this dx element it will be radially outward so let's join this point and dx and radially outward in which direction in this direction so this will be our de because it's not the complete electric field it will be de correct and if we elongate this side this will make an angle theta here correct okay and what will be the component of de along this line it will be de cos theta right so this is our figure let me repeat again the whole figure we have a rod here with all positive charge all over it okay you can take negative and make this de downward and you can do the same thing right so it is all positive charge a small element a length element is dx the length of this whole rod is l and this length element is at a distance of x from it Point P is the point at which we are finding the electric field, okay? And that is at a distance of A from this. Great. Now, first thing, if it is uniformly charged, for a uniformly charged rod, what is constant? Linear charge density. Linear charge density. What is linear charge density? Lambda, which is equals to Q by L. Correct? Okay, great. So if lambda is Q by L, which is fixed for this whole thing. Sir, what is the lambda and how do you explain this? Okay. So see here, if you have a rod like this, okay. Let's say this is a small part of wire. This is another part of wire and this is a much more smaller. Then what does lambda says? Lambda says that 5 by 10, I'm just taking an example. Then I will explain you 6 by 12, 50 by 100 or 100 by 200. Each segment of this wire will have lambda equal. How? 5 by 10, half. 6 by 12, half. 50 by 100, half. 100 by 200, half. The ratio of charge per unit length remains constant. Though each section has a different Q value. Numerator is different. Each section has a different length value. Denominator is different. But overall ratio remains fixed for a given wire. Correct? Okay? So lambda for this whole wire remains same. Correct? So, if lambda remains constant, can we find what will be our charge present in this dx? So, charge present in dx will be dq, which is equals to lambda into dx, correct? And what is lambda? Q by L. So, Q by L into dx, charge per unit, the length of the whole rod equal to dq. This is the charge present in that region. If this is the charge present, due to that small charge which is present in dx, what will be the electric field? It's a dE that is equals to K, which is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Charge Q, what is charge Q? dQ upon separation square. What's the separation? So let's call this point is uh, as any point, uh, let's say S, SP square. Great. Now what is SP square? that we have to find clear so here this will be our electric field equation number one okay 
So what will be the electric field along this direction? DE cos theta, correct? Because see here, DE cos theta in this direction and DE sin theta in direction. But if you imagine this small length element on the left hand side, then all the DE sin thetas will cancel out. Why? Because DE sin theta here will be in this direction and cos theta will be upside. So all the cos thetas will add up and sin thetas will cancel out here. Correct? So resultant electric field will be DE cos theta. Correct? And DE cos theta will be equals to DQ upon 4 pi epsilon naught SP square. And what is cos theta? Cos theta will be, if this is angle theta, this will be angle theta. And if this is angle theta from here, what will be the cos theta? Cos theta will be base, which is OP upon hypotenuse SP. Correct? OP upon SP. So let's write here OP upon SP. I hope this is clear. Now let's substitute the values. So first of all, dq as it is upon 4 pi epsilon naught. And what is sp square? Look at this triangle. sp square is a square plus x square. sp square is equals to op square plus os square. And what is op? a square and os x square. Correct? So this sp square, sp cube, it will become. So let's make it as uh, sp is equals to how much root under a square plus x square and sp cube will be equals to a square plus x square whole power 3 by 2 correct so a square plus x square whole power 3 by 2 in the numerator we left with op what is op op is angle oh sorry side a so dq into a it is i hope this is clear okay this will be our value okay a okay that will be our op so de cos theta that will give you here and what is dq dq is nothing but q by l into dx from which equation this equation over here so let's substitute that also in the next step so this will be a upon 4 pi epsilon naught uh, a square plus x square 3 power 3 by 2 and what is our dq let me go up q by l into dx so let's write q by l into dx now we got our in integral form we can integrate it with respect to x on the right hand side clear and what will be the limits here limits will go from minus l by 2 because here we will assume that this is origin minus l by 2 to plus l by 2 you can also make it from 0 to l okay so that won't alter the result so let's write it here let me make a straight line here and start deriving after this okay so this will be here uh, de cos theta electric field will be the net electric field due to this rod will be de cos theta integration and that will be integration of uh, let's take the common out outside so that will be a is coming out q is coming out upon 4 pi epsilon naught that is constant length of the rod is also constant fixed minus l by 2 to l by 2 uh, dx upon a square plus x square whole power 3 by 2. Now you need a little bit of integration here. So if you have a square plus x square, what we can take? You can assume substitution method. What we will do? We will assume x is equals to a tan theta. Okay. And if x is a tan theta, what will be dx? dx will be a sec square theta d theta. Correct. And if it is so, then we can convert this whole thing into our uh, substitution part that is equals to a q okay whole divided by 4 pi epsilon naught okay and a minus l byte but we, uh, limits also change no so let's simplify this evaluate this in a simple manner and then we will put it back to our problem okay so what we will do here is our mm, integration of dx upon a square plus x square whole power 3 by 2 okay let's solve this separately this will be what is dx a sec square theta right so a sec square theta d by d theta upon uh, what is our uh, this a square plus x square a square plus x square that we can write it here as what is x a tan theta so when you write it you will get here a square plus a square at 10 square theta right x square and when you take a square common you will get 1 plus 10 square theta which is sec square theta so i am writing here a cube sec cube theta from where i got because cube is there 3 by 2 okay let me roughly explain once again this a square plus x square right so here it will be 
ए स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर वट इज एक्स एक्स इज ए टेन थीटा सो ए स्क्वायर टेन स्क्वायर थीटा करेक्ट नाउ इफ आई टेक ए स्क्वायर कॉमन इट विल बी वन प्लस टेन स्क्वायर थीटा एंड वन प्लस टेन स्क्वायर थीटा इज नथिंग बट सेक्स स्क्वायर थीटा करेक्ट एंड होल पावर इज हाउ मच थ्री बाई टू सो दिस स्क्वायर एंड टू विल कैंसल आउट एंड क्यूब विल बी देर राइट सो ए क्यूब सेक क्यूब थीटा लेट मी रिमूव दिस होल थिंग ओके नाउ uh so this when you integrate before you integrate everything will cancel out a and a cube and a this will cancel out sec square and sec will cancel out you left with integration of uh 1 by a square which is constant outside and integration sec square upon 1 by sec which is cos theta d theta what is cos theta integration sin theta right 1 by a square sin theta correct and sin theta okay you have to find what is our uh, tan theta tan theta is x by a Okay, this is our final result. Okay, of this integral, but we don't know what is sine theta. So first, we will do what we will find sine theta. How do you find sine theta? So let me remove this whole thing. Okay, we have already found our integral. So this integral is giving us one by a square sine theta, one by a square sine theta. Sir, how do you convert this sine theta into the given known values? So see here, from this part, tan theta is nothing but x by a. Correct? If tan theta is x by a. Okay, so perpendicular is x and base is a. Hypotenuse will be how much? Root under x square plus a square, right? Okay. So what will be corresponding sine theta? Sine theta will be perpendicular over x upon root under x square plus a square, correct? So let's substitute this value over to this part. So this will give you the correct answer. Here will be integration will be of this whole thing. Let me remove this whole thing and let's write here. This will give us. A Q upon four pi epsilon naught L. Okay, and what's the integration of this part gives us? Integration of this part gives you one by a square, and sine theta. Sine theta, what we evaluated? X upon x square plus a square. Okay, whole power half, which is root. Okay, and what's the limits? Minus L by two to L by two. Correct. Okay, now let's put the final limits. So this will give you outside. So two uh, A Q. This A and one of the A will cancel out. We can cancel them. So you're left with Q upon four pi epsilon naught L A, and here putting the upper limit, it will be L by two. Okay, that you can put here upper limit L by two upon L by two whole square plus A square whole power half. Okay, minus putting the lower limit L by two minus L by two will make it plus L by two whole divided by squaring it again L by two whole square. Minus will give you plus only plus a square half, right? So when you simplify this expression, okay, when you put the upper limit and lower limit, what will you get finally? Uh, Q by four pi epsilon naught a uh, into L, okay, and even L will be in the top L into uh, two whole divided by you will get root under L square plus four a square, okay, and finally you can get it as Q upon Two pi epsilon naught a root under l square plus four a square. Great. So this was our um, electric field at the perpendicular part.